I'm actually not very concerned about finding a full-time job. And it's because of my co-op experiences and because of how prepared I am to go out and find a job. And it's awesome that I can say that. <laughs> I've had two summer co-ops and I'm working part-time for a company now. Well, one thing that I really learned is that you need to figure out what you like for a manager. Um, and from there, knowing your own skills of how you organize projects and how you need to handle deadlines and uh, organize everything is really the key. So know yourself, know your employer, and how you work together. It was really great, actually. I mean, we were required to take the first class, and we didn't really know anything about it. Um, and so it was a professional development course. So you learn how to dress for these kind of events and uh, how to build your resume and that kind of thing. And I had done some of that before, uh, but this was very detailed. A lot of people with experience and Diane Hewitt, who runs the program for us, would bring in companies and have them talk to us so we get real world answers to our questions. Um, and from there, our skills just built. A lot of people think engineers can't communicate well, and that's something that they want to make sure that we can, um, because we all can. They just want to prove that, and it let us be able to prove that to the people who want to hire us. I didn't look very far. Um, my dad actually went through the plastics engineering program, so I knew of it, which a lot of people don't when they are first looking. Um, so I knew how great it was, and I knew I wanted to do engineering. And it's a public school, and it's so it's financially the best option because you get an equivalent or better education. I, I knew that plastics was like a tight group, and that um, everyone helps each other throughout uh, schooling and beyond. And I've really seen that, and I've seen the professors step up to help out students, and it's just a great network, and it's. I love it. <laughs>